Hi, I'm Chris McKenna, the founder of Protect Young Eyes. I'm so glad that you visited the website today. What I wanna show you is how to use some parental controls on an Amazon Kindle. Now, obviously this is my daughter's Kindle, pink as it is. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna walk through some things you can do to have a better idea of the activities that your son or daughter may be performing while using the device. The first couple of things that you'll notice here on the Kindle screen, up in the upper left-hand corner, you can see that it's been named Dad's and Lauren's Kindle, which is important to me. I want my daughter to know that Dad's involved in the device, I understand the device, and that way it's a joint ownership and that I can look at it whenever I want. And so we started that from the moment that she got it for um, her birthday uh, last year. The other thing you'll notice is this little green icon here. That's because you can create different profiles that allow different types of access. And we'll get to that in just a minute. I'm gonna go ahead and open up the device here. And I wanna show you how to enable some parental controls and a couple of things we just talked about. You wanna to get to the settings, and we've got it set up that that's under apps here. Click on the little cog that is settings. And then here you have a couple of, more than a couple, a number of different options that we wanna focus on. The first one, in terms of the name of the device, you can go to device options, and this is where you can change your fire's name. There you can see Dad's and Lauren's Kindle, if I go back out. I referred to profiles earlier, profiles and family library. This is, oops. This is where you can create different profiles that create a personal experience. You can have different apps attached to different profiles there. Finally though, for parental controls, down at the bottom here, this is where we can actually turn on parental controls in order to control web browsing, downloading apps, and other things. So I'm gonna go ahead and select on. Now you can select whatever password you want, just don't forget it. But I'm gonna go ahead and just for example purposes, select a simple one to remember, hit submit. And now I'm given different options that I can block or unblock. The web browser on a Kindle is Silk. And so I've got that blocked here. That's what um, shows up. And then you can um, select other things to block, whether it's use of the camera. Down at the bottom here, password protect purchases is something that we've enabled. In other words, every app that my daughter wants to download from Amazon store, instead of just automatically her being able to do it, she has to come to me so that I can type in that parental password for her to be able to do that. That creates a conversation between us. Hey, why do you wanna play this? What is it? It gives me a chance to look at it and approve it. And then down at the bottom here, if you wanted to um, password protect Wi-Fi, that if she goes somewhere else, that you would have to approve her surfing the Wi-Fi wherever she might be. That would be something you'd want to select also. And so I'm gonna get out of here now that it looks the way that I want it to, essentially with the browser and a few other things blocked. I'm gonna go back to the home screen here. This icon is the Silk or um, web browser icon for Kindle. So if I click on it, it's gonna tell me web browser is blocked. You can unlock it in parental controls, which is what we just did. And so currently she's not able to surf the internet. Another useful option on the Amazon Kindle is an app called FreeTime. Free time allows you to control amount of um, time that is spent on it. You can add certain apps to it in a way that's even more controlled than the profile option that I showed you previously. There's a couple of different ways to use free time. There is a free option, but there's also a paid option which gives you a lot of other bells and whistles that a parent might like. And so I know a number of parents that enjoy using free time, particularly for the screen time uh, control that's kind of a buzz right now with parents like how many hours should my kid be allowed to use the device and they're tired of the fight of constantly going to their son or daughter to say time is up and all the attention that goes on then this allows the device to um, be the bad guy so to speak and when the time is up the device will lock it down and say your time is up and then they know they have to bring it back to mom or dad and so that's a good option for parents well thank you so much for visiting today I'm a dad with young kids and I wanna do everything I can to help you protect the young eyes in your home. Be sure to sign up for the newsletter at the bottom of any of the pages on the website so you can stay current. Take care.